everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I hope you had a good day today. Our weather was not as nice as yesterday. We did have the sunshine. It was peeking in and peeking out and peeking in and peeking out, and the wind was blowing like crazy. In fact, the wind blew so much, it blew a lot of leaves over to the chicken area, and then it was going up over the fence, and the rooster got out, you said? Mm -hmm. The rooster and and brownie, the one that's real brown that looks almost black. She got out of the fence, but then they went back in because he was working around the fence. He's getting it ready for the for the electric to be put back on, I think, mm -hmm. is what you're trying to do. Okay. But two of the buffs came over to see what I was doing. They were right within an arm's reach of me. Yeah, the buffs are friendly. They're a nice bird. I don't know if it's because we had them in the house or it's just their nature to be nice. I think it's their nature mm -hmm. and the fact that they were in the house. They were in the house for six weeks. When you first get chickens, they say that you have to keep them in the house for approximately six weeks. And when the mama bird has the chickens, the baby chicks, it seems like she's got them outside even in colder weather, but they're always scooting back underneath her so they can always go back where it's warm. So they're, but they're out and about and eating and scratching long before the tractor supply people tell you that you should be taking your chickens out. Well, today I got a phone call from the realtor and he said that he had a bid on the house and now we have to wait to hear because um, they want to have their building inspector look at the house to make sure it's something that they should, that it's a sound house. It is a sound house. And St. Joseph, he's still planted upside down. So I'm hoping that I can take him out of the dirt soon and stand him back up. I've got him in a plastic bag so he doesn't get dirty. I don't want him dirty. <laughs> I know, poor St. Joseph. And um, Jim went shopping today and he said that now the people are trying to take all the food. I guess is empty now. A lot of shelves. All these, all these the sh shelves were empty, and I don't know about Walmart. Walmart still had quite a bit of stuff, but Walmart all still these good. was pretty well cleaned out. Uh, so, canned goods. Yeah. So canned vegetables. And I went. I I'm, I went to pay the electric bills today, and I thought, you know, I'll check our little Dollar General store. We have one little store in our town. And so I went in to see just what there was, and they still have cold and flu medicine. In fact, I bought two. I bought a daytime and I bought a nighttime because Emily came here looking. She says, do you have any medicine? When she had her cold a few weeks ago. She's okay now. But I got this one for daytime, I guess. Mm -hmm. And this one for nighttime. And I just have them because... My kids come raid my stuff all the time. And um, I checked to see if they had any bleach. They still have bleach. They still have peroxide. They still have the alcohol. And I looked to see if they had toilet paper. Toilet paper is long gone. Except for they have the tiny four rolls that I guess it costs a dollar. But it's really very few sheets on those rolls. They're more puffy than they are loaded but they did have that and there's lots of paper towels the store still looked pretty full but it's because we're in a itty bitty town and the bigger the places it seems like there's more people and then there's more stuff flying off the shelves so that is what it looks like in our little world and the college what they say about the college they're going to keep it open for labs i believe mm -hmm. but they're going to still have them do their studies from home after the 19th. After the 19th. Okay. <clears throat> yep. So it was, I was thinking it was the 23rd or something, but I guess it's the 19th. Mm -hmm. And our schools are still opened, but I hear in other states they've closed schools. And I've, and somebody even mentioned that their house, their, not their house, but their state was in a state of emergency. I don't remember what state it was, but I don't know. But anyways, that's it. I am feeling grand. I hope you're all feeling grand. And we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. We'll have a great night. Bye.